If there is one thing the Chinese are good at, aside from unconstitutionally laying claims to islands that don't belong to them and the optimization of child labor, it's ripping off other brands. So much so that they have practically turned the production of cheap counterfeits into an art form. As such, some of the weirdest and most hilarious stuff can be found when you try to look for them. So without further ado, and since the Chinese are probably just going to rip off this video anyway, here are 20 Chinese knockoffs better than the original. Amazing! Number 20. Oreo. Oreos, as pleasant as they may be, are probably one of the most overrated cookie brands out there. Sure, it's pretty good, but that whole twist, lick, and dunk scam they advertised doesn't really make it anything special. The Chinese, on the other hand, have no reservations calling a spade for what it is. Hence the Boreo. It's two sugar cookies with filling in it. Nothing more, nothing less. Number 19. Michael Alone. At Michael Alone, which is China's answer to America's McDonald's, diners won't be subjected to the torture of clowns or even southern gentlemen dressed as colonels. Instead, you get pure solitary bliss while eating your bucket of Michael alone chicken, which gives you time to ponder why you didn't just go to a McDonald's like a normal person. Number 18. Dolce and Banana Dolce & Banana, which is an obvious ripoff of Dolce & Gabbana, is a brand that has finally cracked the code when it comes to combining the wanton needlessness of designer apparel and the awesome power of fruit. Perhaps each purchase at D&B entitles you to a free banana smoothie, or maybe they actually make clothes for monkeys, in which case the Chinese have tapped into virgin territory. Number 17. Harry Potter and the Leopard Walk Up to Dragon Because of the absurd amount of fame the movies gave on top of the already popular series of books, by J.K. Rowling. It's a no-brainer that Chinese counterfeiters would be all up on the whole Harry Potter craze. As a result, the world gets Harry Potter and the Leopard Walk Up to Dragon, which pretty much says it all. Number 16. Tuna. This is China's answer to sports apparel brand Puma, whereas the latter endorses its brand by telling its customers that they could be as fierce, fast, and agile as a Puma. China's experts, purveyors of fake goods, have gone a step further. You get to breathe underwater, potentially become a very tasty sandwich meat. And best of all, you have zero trans fats within your thick, tasty meat. Number 15. Poly Station. Now, this one has legitimately gone off into the history of gaming as one of the most famous knockoffs ever to have been built by China. So much so that the Poly Station, which obviously rips off Sony's PlayStation console, has become a sort of urban legend because of how crappy it is. You see, it's actually a NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, on the inside with its casing and controllers just taking the shape of Sony's console. Number 14. Mike. China only had to alter one letter from Nike to create this piece of counterfeit gold. In fact, it's so lazy that they didn't even bother going further up or down the whole alphabet, and instead just straight up took the letter right before N. All things considered, Mikes are pretty great when you see that you're actually sporting the nickname of basketball's greatest player of all time. Now, that's how you show dedication. Number 13. Johnny Worker's Red Labial Whiskey. Playing with Johnny Walker's Red Label variety of whiskey. Johnny Worker's Red Label Whiskey is a drink that I honestly would like to try. Johnny Worker? Come on. Nothing says every man like having your brand based on Karl Marx's favorite societal cast. And second, I seriously want to know what a liquor named after a swollen part of the female reproductive organ would taste like. Number 12. Space Boys 3. This is what happens when an officer of the law does a little too much steroids and forgets leg day. Don't even get me started on its dead eyes, which look like it has no problems whatsoever strangling evildoers right in the balls. Plus, Space Boys is already on its third installment, which probably means it's doing pretty well. Number 11. Special Man. This needs no explaining. It's Chinese Superman. Yes, Superman may be faster than a speeding bullet. He may be able to leap buildings in a single bound. He may have the power to shoot lasers out of his eyes. And yes, he may be bulletproof and look good in the red and blue tights. But let us ask you this. Is he special? I rest my case. Number 10. New Style Ninja Tortoise. Turtles have gotten all the credit in popular media, so it's great to find out that China's resident ripoff experts have decided to give tortoises some representation too. Even better, New Style Ninja Tortoise is a lone hero amidst all the ensemble populated landscape of superheroes these days. It has a face that screams film franchise too. 
Number 9. Kicker. Honestly though, this bar of chocolate covered wafers is so amazing that its makers didn't even bother to check proper writing mechanics when they decided to capitalize the second K in Kicker. Also, I think the Chinese are banking on their reputation for practicing Kung Fu when they named this little snack. You know, because it's so good it feels like you just got kicked in the mouth when you bite into one. Number 8. John's Daphne Tenderness Whiskey. The problem with alcohol is that sometimes people get all violent when they've had a little too much to drink. I'll consider that problem solved with this bald-faced imitation of Jack Daniels Sour Mash Whiskey. You see, John's Daphne Tenderness Whiskey is the kind of liquor that makes you feel nothing but TLC when you drink it. Having you say, I love you man, to total strangers with a single sip. Number 7. Face Food all I'll say is that if face food is anything like its social media counterpart, then you probably don't have to pay money for any of their meals or entrees. Just hit like and share for every french fry or hamburger you want. Come to think of it, face food is probably the kind of fast food joint where some random guy may sit next to you and slide you a cheeky Polaroid picture of his genitalia. Number 6. Obama Fried Chicken This Kentucky Fried Chicken ripoff ups the ante by not just having a colonel as its mascot. It has a former head of state for it. If this fast food chain is indeed in inspired by former United States President Barack Obama, then it most likely guarantees affordable fried chicken for all. Whether it survived for long, it's another question. Number 5. S&M's This is what happens when M&M's decide to get freaky. So freaky in fact that it gives a whole new disgusting meaning to the classic melts in your mouth, not in your hand tagline. I'm sure that this Chinese counterfeit candy is the kind that your dominatrix would buy for your session, shoving the whole bag in your mouth. Number 4. 712 Considering how hectic a counterfeiter's life gets, it's only proper that there is an equally counterfeited convenience store that's ready to serve their needs. That's where 712 comes in. Unlike the original, which is popular convenience store chain 7-Eleven, 712 isn't just open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. These guys go beyond that by doing it 25 hours a day, 8 days a week. See how awesome they are? Number 3. Sense of Right Alliance The Sense of Right Alliance is gearing up to become one of the greatest superhero teams in the history of mankind. Yeah, the Avengers may have Robert Downey Jr. But China's very own sense of right alliance though has so much more. Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, the Yellow Power Ranger, and best of all, Shrek in an ensemble that only six-year-olds and hippies on LSD could dream of. Beware crime! Number 2. Black Man Based on the famous Japanese character Kamen Rider, aka Mask Rider Black, this knockoff is either promoting affirmative action in law enforcement or showing the world that bondage latex is a versatile outfit, as long as you can don a mask that makes you look like a fly. Number 1. Star Fucks This place is such a mystery, really. It makes me wonder whether it's actually a coffee shop or some kind of brothel. If it's the former, then I have to say it's probably one of the most in-your-face brands sticking it to Starbucks. If it is a whorehouse, on the other hand, then I have to ask if this is a place where clients get to have sex with celebrities. Know any other awesome Chinese knockoffs? Let me know what you think in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, kindly hit the like button to show your appreciation. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and Click that bell icon to get the latest updates of new uploads. Thanks for watching.